Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Yes, it is our favourite orc time. It is the Squig Hobnob on Smasher Squig. That's a bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, from Joy Toys Warhammer 40k line, fully licensed with Games Workshop. This does look pretty good. Um, much bigger box than I was expecting. Looks pretty cool. On the back we see some... Of the picture of the actual toy it does look good but I'm not a fan of needing a support to hold certain postures I'd much rather have better balance and and stiffer joints but I don't know what the joints are like yet until I open up the orc does look good but he seems to be lacking in character compared to the ones with orc commanders we had before but that's just my initial impression from looking at the toy on the back of the box when it's in hand we'll see if I think the same way does look nice though i'm quite excited about this but another thing i can see which i'm not too happy about is there's no or not that i can see there's a i can't see an articulated jaw on the uh on the smasher squig uh on oops on the side ah! here see another picture again looks pretty good and then underneath there's nothing okay so let me quickly unbox this. I've taken the cellophane off already. Oh, he's a quite a big boy. The orc is meant to be how big is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be 11.3 cm, so smaller than the uh, Space Marine. So this is what we can see inside. These tools are quite large, has to be said, and that sort of a cybernetic arm on the orc does look pretty cool, if you can see amongst the glare there. Okay, I'm going to uh, unpackage this, set this up, and then we'll get a better look, so back in an instant. Okay, here they are together. I'm pleased to say that the uh, Smasher Squig's joints are very stiff and easy to support its uh, weight. However, it is heavy. They should have had some hollow parts inside it, I think just to make it slightly easier to maybe to balance in certain positions uh what i don't like as i said the jaw doesn't open on the the orc his left hand this hand here is so stiff you have to really pry the things open to put in the uh the weapon i've also broken it straight away his little earring from his ear you can see he's broken there from this side here that was me not joy toy uh however it's a bit of a design flaw having a Articulate the head with this on this side and you got that there trying to move the head and it just snapped off, but that was a uh, my fault um, Anything else that like at the moment is okay. Um, yeah, his face. I It's like I said it. I said it I feel like it, it lacks character a little bit compared to the uh, Commando orcs, but we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, in fact, we'll look at that now. Let's get a close look in so this is all this is what comes He also has the stand and this part goes in the back which he could take off and he can hold that as well I guess if you wanted. So let's have a close look at the at our orc first of all. He does look pretty good. Let me get a bit of focus gone at our squig hog uh, knob. There we go. So you see what I mean? It's um, it feels less like a games of worship orc in my mind, and more like a different fantasy orc. They're still pretty good. But the arm is fantastic. I love that arm. Really nicely done. The only issue with the arm is you want to swap it. You've got this pipe that goes into his back. That's not easy to do onto another figure. That's a modified of a figure for the pipe. Um, this pellet or whatever it is, that can be taken off. You can see that it's it's gonna be quite loose. You'd have to I think it plugs into his back, you'd have to take his waist off as well. That could be taken off. I love this sort of whatever that is. He can hold it like a tomfa as well. Very, very cool. But it does need more paint apps, particularly on this cloak section. For the uh, price point, you expect a, a bit more on that. Maybe a bit more on the uh, trousers or pants if you speak American. Very, very nice looking. That's so good in this arm. Such a cracking job. So they put a lot of effort into inking on the muscles, but hardly anything onto the uh, cloak in comparison. Now the Smasher Squig, who's standing up all by himself. The other issue, I think, is the articulation. The head's going to be terrible. 
It's almost to the point like, why would you even put a joint there? Likewise, with the small piece on the tail, which look at the moment, that seems almost pointless too. Um, perhaps the saddle can come off because that is loose, but you'd have to unbuckle it or from something. I can't see any clip for it. How to go off over the head? Maybe the head comes off, possibly. Quite a menacing looking face though, has to be said. But again, I think the paint apps could have been slightly better on this. Okay, so let's go through articulation on our on our orc here. So head, this is why I broke the uh, earring. There is a small left and right, small up and down, and it can twist like this. Arms are going to be different. Um, this one should have better range of motion, but it does have a pipe stuck into his arm, but it's got the cloak in the way. Without the cloak, that arm would go all the way around. With it, it won't. To the side, if I use this arm here, you see the sculpt gets in the way. They could have done much better on that. On this one, it'll be a very similar story, even with the, even if the cloak wasn't there doesn't get particularly far which is a shame bicep bend you're getting 90 degrees so that's pretty good other side you're getting well over 90 degrees but again this horrible elbow joint look at that but it is a double bicep uh, joint wrist we have that really beautiful system of barbell joint which is my favorite for wrists he has trunk but his cloak will limit his Articulation forward, backwards, side to side, small twist, and he can do. Can you twist in his waist? Small twist in his waist together. Pretty good forwards. And he just popped out there. How far can I go? Pretty good backwards. Not bad side, not bad side. He can turn really well. Hips. It's okay. Forwards is pretty good. Backwards is actually a full front splits. It's pretty damn cool. Like the little uh, cartridges on his uh, thigh there. Uh, knee bend is terrible, tiny, but his uh, foot is pretty good. Knee bend on the other side is terrible, so it's tiny. But his foot, he does get a pretty decent dorsiflexation. He does get a small tippy toe. And he does have the toe articulation, though it is kind of hidden. You can see from the other side that he can bend his toes a small, a small way. So not bad. But that is starting to annoy me, that sort of elbow joint there just sort of sticks out. I mean, you're getting much about articulation, but it, the price is it's not aesthetically pleasing. But this arm is just fantastic. Really, really good. Okay, let's look at the squig articulation. We'll go from head backwards. Head! That's pretty much it. Oh, and you can do that as well. But you see, it's almost they could have made that part inside smaller, so there's more of a gap here, and then you would have had a lot more motion. An articulated jaw would have been just perfect. So that's all you get in the head. The handle just, just slides across, make it slightly easier. Legs, oh, stiff legs, which go back about so far. Forwards, oh, about this far, then the uh, strapping for the saddle gets in the way. You've got a very stiff double kneecap. Is that a double? Cheese on bread. Okay, it's a double kneecap, but it goes the other way. So it's backwards one, forwards one, and it is very stiff, not backwards two. And does it go out at all and in? Yeah, out a little, in a little, which is good. And then you've got a nice, beautifully stiff ankle joint, but there, and it is a swivel, but not a turn. And the swivel's a bit loose for its weight, but the actual bend is really, really stiff. And he gets a good range of motion for tippy toe, and a good range of motion. On his dorsi flexation, so he can drink some water. But he'll fall over in that pose, unless his legs go forwards, which they can't because of the uh, saddle. 
So let me just quickly balance this again. It should be quite easy to balance, considering how joint his uh, ankles are. There we go, straight away, and he's in a walking pose now. Pretty damn cool. So the next question is, how well does he sit on it? Well, it looks great and quite, uh, I won't say graceful, but a quite a good fit in the actual uh, pictures on the box. Let's see how quickly I can do this on camera. If he's going to keep himself together, because I was posing his waist. Okay. Now the weighting has changed, and I just had to quickly adjust the ankles, and he does fit on. Quite nicely, but you get the sense he's going to drop off if he's to go running. <laughs> you know, they have to hold on really with one hand. Not bad. Okay, let's get a sense of scale, a sense of size. So if I push this back a little bit here, so he's still in camera. Let's go back one foot on there, one foot down. It's still going to balance, which is okay. Should I use this? To... No, I should leave it without. He balances there. Okay, let's get... Um... Let's go for the orc, let's go for the uh, the commando boss who's got more character in my opinion. And you can see that, yeah, that's a big brute. His looks better, but I prefer his arm over this power sort of claw arm there. Let's go for something a bit more... A bit more is the word I'm looking for. Antagonist, perhaps. So this is uh, body one, ultramarine. <laughs> now that you can see is a big size difference. As as much as I, as the ultramarine is quite tough, I think he might have met his match here. And now let's go for beast versus beast, rider versus rider, with the. Space Wolf's Thunder Cavalry. I'm not sure if this is even fit in camera having these two bad boys on the uh, same video. Just about. And you can see that the squig is actually bigger. Obviously higher. It appears to be longer as well. Um, so you get up to 33 cm on the wolves. The squig is it longer? If I go take him back, because we can see we can see everything on this. So if I go this way, I'm getting I'm getting about twenty nine cm on length in this posture. So he's about around about thirty. So it's a similar length to the uh, wolf, just that he looks bigger and he's chunkier and he's heavier. Very, very nice. And one thing I will do again, let me just rebalance this with the rider off. Is let's get a look at the whoo, he's moving by himself. Let's look at our rider next to the ultramarine and the other orc, just to get an idea. Now bear in mind body two space marines are bigger. And you see that he's actually a fair bit bigger height wise as well as a uh, as well as obviously whip wise than the ultramarine so that's interesting so height wise he is coming on to the top of his head is over 12 cm so he's similar size to body two we can test that now because this space wolf here is body two and he's supposed to be 12 cm according to the uh, back of the box. Let's just quickly swap around and check the height difference. Hmm. The mystery deepens. So Space Wolf is 12 to the top. He is over 12 to the top. That's excluding the uh, cloak and excluding the skull. And then let's get the other orc back. Let's move the wolf slightly over. Let's put our squig there. And let's get another look at the uh, size again. 
Let's hope everybody fits in. Have a nice family photograph. And comparable, comparable in size as you'd expect with the other orc. Yeah. A nice set. There are some things I'm disappointed with, but I have to say aesthetically it's pretty damn cool. And the joints are beautifully stiff. And it is nice to have the stand, but I prefer not to use it if possible. Though there is an argument that stands say the joints so they remain stiffer for longer. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Good release by Joy Toy. If you've got the other orcs, I would recommend this one because it's just such a great centerpiece for your orc collection from this uh from this 40k line by Joy Toy. Great release. I think it's good. Um I prefer the commandos overall, but that's just I feel they have more character. But having said that, you want a huge, great big centerpiece for your orcs, as I said, and this guy with that amazing army. So just look at that again. That army is just so good. This guy with his amazing arm and this uh smasher squig are the centerpiece that you're looking for until they do release something else for the orcs. Hopefully a truck, hopefully something else we will see. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please hit joining the Patreon, link in the top right, also a link in the video description. We have weekly prize draws currently for Joy Toy prizes. Um, and that might be continuing long term if we get enough subscribers and things go well. Okay, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share the video if you want, and check out the other videos. There's over 1,000. And please smash that notification icon bell so you don't miss a video as soon as it's published. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.